This is just a fast but really important video for me on the go. Uh, and it clarifies a lot of issues in respect to car assassination plots against me. You see, I was involved in a several car assassination plots, which regretfully I have to say even United States of America is not concerned Great Britain alone, but United States of America was involved in. For instance, John Roberts, Chief Justice of United States of America, was one of the justices I'm going to try I'm going to demonstrate to you just how much this guy was involved against me in this case yeah this is just going to be pertaining to this case here. Okay. What you're viewing here right now, that is my complaint submitted to Russia in respect to life in the United States of America because my not having the right to actually even file for political asylum in any European Union member state because of myself next to holding American citizenship I'm also a citizen of Slovenia, which became European Union member state together with the Czech Republic, Poland, and other Eastern European countries. And what you see right here is a car assassination plot, which took place. Yeah. This is a car assassination plot which took place in what I estimate probably year 2000, which you see right here. Yeah. Uh, I had a Volvo just like you see right there, and there was a Ram pickup truck involved in an accident which, however, was committed by United States of America government. Don't ask on whose behalf. Don't ask how. Uh, this man that you see here, you're going to see eventually what exactly took place. You see, on that morning, sometimes in 2000, I rushed at my work, I used to work as a security officer at the Wackenhut Corporation. In Miami Lakes, there is a pharmaceutical company known as a Shering Plow. And that morning, there was a semaphore light right in front of me. There was an intersection. I don't know what street it is um, this is just um, it's all described right here whatever this is 2000 morning year 2000 this is my direction I, I actually have demonstrated this is really United States of America should pay attention to this is a total disgrace but for me this is a very, very, very important detail that was missing on this Belarus co complaint, which I have submitted in 2017. 
uh, and it's a very very important detail that was missing because just lately I've mentioned this car assassination plot which however took place in 2007 with which I charged British government royals were involved in this crime in cover-up of car assassination plot in Slovenia. The things are much worse. It was United States of America, which citizen I became in 2000s, that was involved in this stuff. You see, my new homeland, where I immigrated in 1995, that had much, much, much more to do with it than what I anticipated. This car assassination plot, I barely have survived. Definitely a thing to see. I have ensured myself to have uploaded this video on several websites, but right now, I do like to go back in year 2000 so that you can get an idea about what exactly American democracies, in this case Supreme Court justices, basically what exactly, who, who are these people and what exactly this looks like from the real perspective, from the real American citizen I became natural citizen perspective. You see that morning when I rushed through the intersection I uh, became really really cautious because as I was approaching to the intersection and that's what it didn't make any fucking sense to me it was a green light right in front of me However, there were cars rushing through the intersection and that didn't make me any sense because if I had a green light, ability to go to cross the intersection, how the hell am I going to cross one if it's other cars that are flying through like crazy without any slowing down, anything going on. So I did reduce the speed as I approached the intersection, but I decided to proceed anyways. And it was this Dodge Ram owner that smashed into my rear. There was some damage to the Dodge, and there was a damage to my Volvo. The Volvo was actually from my ex-wife. But all in all, Nothing happened to a Dodge Ram owner, and really nothing happened to me. Now, for a fraction of the second, I missed what 100% would be a death. Because if the truck like this would hit me, you can only imagine on a driver's side, because that's where one would hit me, I was driving the car that morning on my way to job in Miami Lakes at Sharon Plow Corporation, it would have killed me. That's why I've listed this as a car assassination plot. Back to the semaphore issues. But the semaphore issues, however, was like this. And as I stated, this man here that worked in a shadow Of this Supreme Court justices, just as I stated, John Roberts, Chief Justice of the United States of America. This man was involved in this case since like really, really early beginnings. Now let me just see what exactly was his, um, what exactly was he tired his title was because he really he really really upset me with a conduct no internet uh, 
you're gonna see just what kind of conduct that was in a little bit this is really seeing it so that you can understand why I feel the way I feel this about these things became a federal judge in 2003 this guy was working undercover already for some time and was connected to the supreme justices which was just bound to happen because they don't give positions like this to people just out of blue they give them because simply they they designate certain people for certain positions and it doesn't matter what kind of qualifications what your credentials whatever it is uh, the system grooms according to their needs people for special positions such as the positions inside of the supreme court and this is the guy that ladies and gentlemen loved me you understand this guy basically loved me yeah, now let me let me point you out exactly how he loved me. Okay, listen, I'm not saying that this is his fault. I don't know who the Supreme Justices were in 2000. But I gotta tell you that I meet each and every one of these people. Each and every one of these people knew about my MK Ultra case since 1995 especially this man here this man have a lot to do with the greece he loved greece a lot which is rather commanding but he loved one for all the wrong reasons i'm actually even because of his color of the skin afraid to talk about it because it appears to me this man didn't actually mind to do something wrong to promote that other you know Donald Trump side uh, this guy is actually more scary than what you think I'm gonna talk about this man in the next video and it's gonna be the video that's gonna be concerning this issue here let's not mix too many issues this is a grease but right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about this one here this complaint which i submitted in 2017 and it clearly clearly explains who the hell was behind this car assassination plot that took place in 2007 in this car assassination plot here that took place in 2007 upon my return from United States of America in 2006 I have pointed out that Americans insisted me and that's Daniel Rex Smith psychologist insisted me asked me if I'm sure even that I want to have the tires replaced with some old worn out tires and I would have that kind of stuff done so that I would get a proof about the conspiracies it was the easiest way according to him it was the easiest way according to Prince Andrew it was the easiest way according to Americans to prove that I actually live in a world surrounded with conspiracies and the only thing I was told you would do is basically point out something like this and everything would resolve itself you would get attention everything would be okay it would be over and that's all there is to it well not really not really you see That morning, 
when this incident happened in 2000, that's seven years earlier, there was an eyewitness who drove behind me and he clearly saw exactly the same thing I have seen. This was a Hispanic, black, Hispanic, probably Dominican, probably, um, it doesn't really matter, race, an individual who, however, decided to pull over, to stop, and to give me his witnessing that, in fact, light was green. But it was other people all of a sudden that stopped. And they began to convince man to just mind his own business and go his own way. We waited for the police to come, but police that morning wouldn't come for whatever reason that might be. I suspect for about a half an hour or something like this, I don't know, but the man eventually left. Then the only thing that happened was I found myself again drugged up in MK Ultra scenario with this man on the picture and I was conditioned to acknowledge whether I like guy or doesn't like guy therefore I was encouraged to facially profile the man drugged up they had me drugged up and they demanded from me to facially profile him. Who did this? Miami-Dade police did. Police department, U.S. government. Federal Bureau of Investigations did this. American Federal Bureau, FBI. American Federal Bureau of Investigations did this kind of a schweinerei. To express myself in a German language. So did you get the feeling of reality about this? They did this stuff. This is very important for me because I had a witness, you understand? And rather than to have this witness witness about the government crime against me, they had the witness leave and they played with the witness, which actually is totally contrary. We go back to 2007, to what I was incited when I was drugged up. I was incited, basically, to agree that we'll have tires replaced on my car with the all worn out tires to get the proofs about conspiracy. Therefore, this is not something anyone wanted to ever help me out with. But this is just a fucking around with a human dignity, with any ethics that ever existed in this world. You understand? This is bullshit. This is not about the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court, the Banana Court. This isn't about the way you do with the people, the way you treat the people. Elon Musk was nowhere in the picture. He's got 10 children. He's bathing himself in hundreds of billions of dollars. Doesn't know what the fuck to do with the money. Bezos, the same thing. They have a bunch of people like this they have created. This is about something else, isn't it? This is about holding somebody that obviously, evidently to me, this is a racism, if anything. This is a racial prejudice. This is an ethnic prejudice. This is what this is. This is how, this is how I see this American homeland. This homeland, this new American homeland I have chosen as a homeland in 1995. You know what this is ultimately about. What happened with this case here, with this with this accident, 
nothing. The witness remained silent. The judge, however, went ahead and have simply dismissed the case. The insurance company paid somehow. They have arranged for the insurance company to pay somehow, and that was the that was closed. The case was closed. Well, I missed the meeting with the dad that morning. For just a fraction of a second, I would have been 100%. This was a real. This was just more than real fucking assassination attempt in the city of Miami in year 2000. If you want to know something about assassinations, and this here qualifies more as an assassination even than this shit here. And this was really bad. You gotta see it. You gotta see the video. You gotta read this news here for you to understand what assassination, what exactly that looks like. But this here, as bad as it was, and it was really bad, this is a joke compared to this stuff here. Because this is, this is bullshit. This is actually making fool, making fun, basically, out of killing people. Killing people out of fucking boredom. Killing people for the pleasure of it. You understand? It's a play with the justice, a fucking scorn for the justice from the Supreme Court, as I stated, which was involved in this shit since 1995. Talking about American Supreme Court. None of these justices are any kind of justices. This is a mafia. This is a gangster. This is a mob, basically. I want to be very, very specific about this stuff. They covered up for both crimes. They cover up for many assassination attempts. They tried. They tried desperately. They failed. And moreover, they covered up for assassination attempts that somehow, thanks to Almighty Lord, did not come through. But you know, this is a really, really good. It just. God spoke to me tonight about, because, you see, what's eating me the most, contrary to American Supreme Justices, contrary to the British Royals, contrary to British Justice, what eats me the most is basically something that would not leave me in peace would be to accuse people that are not guilty people that are not liable for something of crime that to me is the hardest thing to do but it's not the hardest thing to do to americans to the britons to do something like this you see they compared me for me to wrap it up this video Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong, Armstrong did not know he was a spy. He was American spy. Yeah, he did not know. Louis Armstrong was not drugged up. Louis Armstrong just didn't know that he was American spy. They took advantage of him. You know, I knew that the stuff I did for United States of America, especially for the British, was just perhaps, given the circumstances, it definitely gave them at a negotiation table, it gave, definitely gave them a leverage that when compared to the Russians, Serbs, left them in a dust as completely worthless human beings as they treated me. 
that's as far as I have gone. Did nothing but for everything they did to me, I never bent down and I com continued to humiliate them despite the physical and psychological torture they exercised on me whenever brought by Americans to Russia, to Slovenia, to Belarus, and also in Poland and Ukraine, the stuff went on. And I never bent down. And for that matter, they managed to accomplish some incredible agreements, business agreements, earn some really good demonstrate some really good financial results and become empowered to literally change the world. I knew that the stuff I was doing it definitely ben benefits them despite my completely knowing that the stuff they were doing to me was ethically totally wrong despite knowing that the stuff they were doing to me was a betrayal of the human being an ultimate betrayal of the human being well the thing about it is that all in all Louis Armstrong didn't know that he was a spy for United States of America but there's one thing, the only thing that I can say about myself, because this betrayal, this treachery from British, from Americans, I did mention about the British, that they just do the stuff in a, such a way, that's what I was told, that it doesn't come to you immediately, but the day is going to come, and they'll let me know that through news and stuff like this when I'm going to become completely aware of basically the stuff that they have done to me. Okay, I mean, if this is... I never forgot that stuff. I never forgot about the British promise because they repeated me one over and over and over. Basically, that they're, what they were doing to me was just not ethical. It was just really... Uh, as swiney as possibly could be I get I understand I, I, I completely understand that kind of stuff but you know I could never possibly imagine I could never ever possibly imagine that one would actually go to the degree of doing something like this of causing people stuff like this something like this that he would actually have a justice uh, a, a, a witness to an accident because it was other people who have seen it and they first stopped and the only thing that that happened was they were leaving the accident one by one just as somebody would give them signal or something I don't know, maybe they called him up to just go or whatever it is. But it was this guy that just doesn't want, didn't want to go. You know, he just didn't want to fucking go anywhere. He, he waited with me maybe 15 minutes, something like this. And police just wouldn't come for half an hour, maybe even more. And finally, he was gone to, he wouldn't give me a number, he wouldn't give me anything. And I was left on my own devices, basically, to face the police, the judge. This is, this is a fucking bestiality. And then subjected under MKUltra to a facial profiling for an individual to see whether he could actually give me a witnessing of the incident car assassination plot, which basically, as I stated, I missed for the fraction of the second meeting with the dead. That's all I want to clarify because really this here, this is always I was looking forward to understand basically. I wanted to understand the nature because I, I want to understand what exactly, what the hell. You know, whom should I hear in this case here? Whom should I trust here in this case? Should I trust this to 
the people who eventually have stated me because they knew Rex Smith, American psychologist, knew absolutely everything about the car assassination plot against me in Miami Dade in year 2000. He absolutely knew about everything because they were pretending like they didn't, they, they pretense like Americans pretense like, you know, should we do this? Should we do this to help you out? Because this is how they got this Milan Kuchan assassination plot going, running basically. And so, how the fuck is this stuff ethical? These people committed assassination plot on me. And they wanted another proof. In other words, proof of seeing what was actually done to me on how they're going to murder me. And I should be the one who would acknowledge this and then complain complain to whom basically to the fucking solar department for energy or what to whom to whom even if i would find the tires that they were replaced whom the fuck would i go and the report to taking an under account about the police about the psychiatrists involved against me about my being forcefully unemployed and so on even even the accident the, the assassination plot that took place i didn't even take that to the police so, you know, when you're going to lie next time to somebody, when you're going to try to lie to somebody next to the British, I'm going to post the link so that you can understand that it was Americans behind this stuff too, not only British. I want to make, I want to make myself real clear about American justice, about American Supreme Court, so you all can understand how far you can actually count on American institution such as Supreme Court. I want you to understand what this American Supreme Court, what American justice actually is. Yeah? That's all I want to do in this video. That's all I want to do. If you have not seen this video, this is the best, maybe, the best, one of the best things I have produced on my new site. It's Assassination, the MK Ultra way. And this year, this stuff here, this video, we're just gonna call this maybe. How do you call this kind of stuff? What do you what do you say this? What do you what do you do? What what now? Avoiding assassination, having the proofs about the assassination, and force witnesses of assassination plot just disappear basically to not witness and whom basically to blame that kind of stuff for well you go and you figure out your fucking 2000 supreme court geniuses that served in the year 2000 they served since 1995 they knew all about it like this lady here this was already involved in crime against me way before she became uh what is it now what is she now the supreme court justice what boss chief whatever it is it doesn't really matter what 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 do you think i see when i see this supreme court justice now we understand what exactly i see this i'm not going to say that this american justice is blind this is bullshit. This is a regular bullshit is what this is. This is a definition, not even of a banana country. When you see the shirt and it says banana country, you know, this is actually something else. This is actually something else, you know. It's about something else. That's all I want to do here. I'm going to give you date and time. Like this. Already July 21st. 2020 it's almost five o'clock in the morning thank you so much for watching this video